going to talk a bit about internal reliability and usually you see this term in the development of a scale or reporting whether a scale is reliable and what that means is that the items in the scale correlate highly with each other so for example I'm looking at this scale and it's talking about interactivity and so there are three items. This web-based learning tool allowed the user to control learning experience. The web-based learning tool was interactive in a meaningful way. The web-based learning tool provided rich activities that require action. And what we would expect is that students who thought it was highly interactive would probably click items like that. And then they would correlate with each other. However, if a student did something like this we might think well they're not going to correlate with each other this is high this is low and then when we take the results from a whole bunch of students if we see this kind of pattern there might be low internal reliability and what we're looking for is correlation a single correlation figure that's at least 0 0.80 or higher and we would calculate reliability for each of these separate sections. So reliability for interactivity, reliability for engagement, reliability for usability. It's a mouthful. And all sections. We could also calculate the reliability of all the scores to see if they correlate with each other and that would be a total internal reliability score for the entire scale. Alright, so reliability when it's reported internal reliability is usually a figure that is higher than 0 .0, 0.80 somewhere between 0 .80 and 0 0.95 usually it doesn't get much higher than that and it indicates whether the items within a scale actually correlate with each other and that's what internal reliability is.